Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniature. Real quick today, wanted to point out some new models that I saw and I just needed to point you all in the right direction too. And those were the new Mycena Mortifera from Bestiera Miniatures. That's a mouthful if I do say so myself. But I know a lot of sculptors have been on a very fungal clicker Last of Us kick lately but none have been anywhere near as disturbing as the stuff coming out of Bestie Aram's designs. This one with the remains of the skull. These are their fungal thralls. Or no, no they're not. These aren't the thralls. These are the mycenid shamblers. You can see they're all emaciated and basically just husks of skeletons with fungus growing all over them. And one of the fun things lately with uh, Bestiarium stuff is they've been doing like these double releases every month. So when these guys came out, they also had a whole set of crazy like biblical angels with like eyeballs all over them. Just crazy looking wild stuff. But I wouldn't expect any less from Bestiarium at this point. Uh, I did mention a fungal thrall, which is what one of these are. They're still human and there's a bit of merged human going on here. You can see there's two faces. I, I don't know what's going on with them, but one of the other nice things is if you do manage to get these when they are on their crowdfunding website, Avenue of Choice, uh, a lot of these also do tend to have some sort of, you know, RPG module that's compatible with all the big stuff that you can experience these firsthand. And then leading all of these guys, these are just on 25 millimeter bases using a couple of random models to give you an idea. Obviously these are printed at just the standard size without any tweaking, but you can see, I mean, they'll fit in actually. I, I, I know, I want to say like it was Modifius, I think that had a new RPG. I, I'm assuming it's just an RPG, but a kind of Lovecraftian Roman storyline going on. I thought that looked kind of cool. And I know Osprey had put out a while back some small scale skirmish uh, Roman game that it did have fantasy rules as well in it. So I'm thinking, why not? Why not have some kind of disturbing Lovecraftian uh, fungi virus mutating and plaguing everybody? So these should fit in pretty nicely. And obviously, if they're going to fit in with standard humans, I'm sure they'll fit in with, you know, typical sci-fi stuff. I was going to grab a War Games Atlantic guy. Where did he go? He's escaping my vision here. If you want to mow down uh, hordes of zombie fungi, might be fun. But actually, those weren't even the stars. I just wanted to point these guys out because they were kind of cool. But no, let, let me be perfectly honest. The model that really got my attention, I'm going to show you in a sec. Because someone's got to lead all of those fungal guys around. And this is the fungal shepherd. And if this isn't a fun, disturbing bestiary model, I don't know what is. Look, look at this. There's just too many limbs. I, I don't know what's going on. And the fact that this was a single piece is pretty impressive, too. And I, I did a relatively reasonable job of cleaning him up for once. I was like, I actually put it under the camera before I filmed this one. I'm like, I gotta double check. Okay, maybe I didn't get everything underneath the skirts there. And there's one or two up on his head. But, you know, if my pre not even 0K printer can put out stuff like this. I can only imagine the quality, the sharpness, crispness of like the higher end resins and printers. But again, that's not even what I wanted to point out to you guys. The one I really wanted to point out to you was the Fungal Knight because I saw this and I was like, oh man, I have got to print this guy. That is absolutely disgusting. Look at him. Oh, Nurgle would be proud. He's got a big phallic bulbous helmet that I don't know how that even works or how that was even designed. It's got like those flowery layers of fungus growing all over him, pustules, rolls of fat, broken, nasty armor, spiky stuff. Look at the layers of fat 
and ripping off his legs and all this stuff. I'm not usually a fan of like the guts exposed, but I'm going to assume that this is just all fungal growth. This is one of the few models from the release besides the, you know, prerequisite uh, dragon, which I haven't gotten around to because I take forever with dragons. Uh, this guy is actually the only one that was multiple pieces. I just blue tacked his arm there on just to give you guys a good idea. But honestly, this guy, he's on a 50 millimeter base. He's, he's a big chonker. If ever there was like a perfect exalted, you know, demon of Nurgle that you're in need of, I, I think these guys would be making Papa proud. So yeah, fun stuff to be had for sure if you're into the fungus mushroom zombie kick. Uh, there's definitely some fun to be had here. And I think if you had a nice filthy oil paint wash on these things, they're going to be absolutely disgusting. Perfect for stuff like Morkborg, um, Forbidden Psalm, things like that, Last War, any of the other. I know there seem to be a lot of like uh, World War One, Weird War One things popping up as of late. Might be fun to have them pop up in there as well as my idea of having them have to fight Romans and stuff. Romans, but yeah. Anyway, uh, as always, we'll put a link down below. You guys can check this out yourself, but hopefully you'll have some fun with these quite disturbing models, as always, from Bestiary and Miniatures. So with that said, then, this has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures saying thanks for watching, and we will see you back here soon. Bye-bye.